Okay, this is CMA class, chapter eight, the reproductive system, page 76. All right, hopefully y'all know a lot about the female body parts. Oh, excuse me. There are two main parts to the reproductive system. You got your ovaries, and the ovaries produce your eggs and the uterus, which John is the pass and male sperm through to the tubes and carries the fetus. Those are two very important things that they stuck a lot of little information in. Ovaries produce what? And what does the uterus do? Two things. Passes male sperm and carries the fetus. Um, and what are the two main parts of the reproductive system? Your and your uterus, ovaries and uterus, okay? The fertilization takes place in your fallopian tubes. And then also underlined is, then the egg is implanted into the uterine walls where the initial stages of pregnancy begin. Impregnates into the uterine walls. It's just where we, it goes in there and attaches. Um, the female reproductive system also produces female sex hormones. And when those sex hormones stop producing, we call that menopause. Underline that. It slowly stops making female sex hormones. And we call that menopause. Anatomy of the reproductive system. You've got to know the real names of your body parts. Large lips just means the outside, which is your labia majora. Small lips, menorah. Um, Bartholian's glands is located beside the opening of the vaginal, vag, vaginal and it uh, produces mucus secretion, uh, kind of, for lubrication. And then your clitoris, which you need to give that definition to your fellow if you don't know where it's at. Help, help him out. Um, <laughs> <coughs> Internal organs, you got your vagina, which is the birth canal, which also joins the cervix to the outside of the body. Then you have your uterus, the main job carries the fetus. Main job. Ovaries, small glands located on both sides of the uterus. And what do the ovaries do? Ovaries produce what? Eggs and, Eggs and hormones. Fallopian tubes are actually um, tunnels for the eggs. After the ovaries are produced in your, I mean your eggs are produced in your ovaries. The tubes are just kind of a travel system to get to your uterus. The menstrual cycle. Um, women in the reproductive age go through these cycles approximately every 28 days i think the older i get i actually the older i got i actually got normal before then i i was crazy i had, wouldn't have a period for two months and then it'd come on and stay on for two weeks <laughs> three weeks and, and that's real but um now i've gotten about normal but normally it should last 28 days under nine that and the four major hormones. You got estrogen, progesterone, follicle stimulating hormone, and luteinizing hormone. And those are important because of what they're gonna do at those time, at different times in your cycle. So your follicular phase, know what day it starts on. And that is the first day of your period. They call that the follicular period or follic follicular, follicular, follicular. Um, the brain releases follicle stimulating and luteinizing hormones that travel in the blood to the ovaries, which trigger increased production of estrogen. So all these hormones are working together to produce that estrogen. As the estrogen levels increase, the um, follicle stimulating hormone stops, and then what happens um, during this phase, pretty much you want to think, as the follicular phase continues, one follicle would become dominant and mature. 
So underline that. So that is more like your um, your growing of your egg. That's what it is. Put that somewhere, just because they'll call it the um, follicle, which is the shell. So follicular phase is the egg growing. And then you have your ovulatory phase. Which what day does it start? Day 14, so that egg is done and it's coming out. That's what happens on that, and it is your midpoint of your menstrual cycle. And it, it causes a uh, release of egg from the ovary. It's all happening, all of that, ovulatory, it's coming out. Um, the cervix actually produces more and more thicker mucus, which helps the sperm move where it needs to go to the egg to get fertilized. And then your luteal phase. It begins after ovulation. And once the follicle releases the egg, it develops in the corpus luteum. And that's where they got the luteal phase. The corpus luteum secretes progesterone, which prepares the uterus to implant the fertilized egg. So luteal to me is thickening. Um, at this phase, you're also thickening and about to clean it on out. If sperm fertilizes the egg, the egg will not will move through the fallopian tube and implant. If not, the urine lining breaks down and the period starts. Your luteal phase is actually it's growing, it's there, it's preparing that egg. But if the egg doesn't get fertilized, then we start right back at your follicular phase where it cleans out your whole body and gets ready. So, follicular phase, what day does it start on? Ovulatory phase? Luteal. And just know what happens in each. It's, it's, Y'all know that's your body every every month. It happens just like that. Okay. All right. Here's some uh, problems. Not really. Pregnancy. <laughs> it's a disease, but it ain't in the disease part. It, that's a little further later. <laughs> Pregnancy. This is um, what happened. We done went through all these phases, and it got fertilized. Or else you're on your period, which is your follicular phase. So, pregnancy did occur. The average pregnancy is how long? 40 weeks. 40 weeks. Breast changes, absence of periods, nausea, mood swings, all of that. Heartburn, swelling, ankles swelling, everything swelling. Um, what I want you to do, remember, is what it is a pelvic meter. All it does is measure your pelvis. And they sometimes um, it's very obvious whether you can um, birth your baby if you're a lot of times um, they're doing cesareans now and all them people have, more than 90% of them people could have had their baby. But because the doctor wants to know when you're having your baby so he can go on vacation or be off the weekend or whatever, he's gonna schedule it for Thursday, March the 13th. And he prays that you don't have it before then where you don't have to come in as an emergency. <laughs> but um, y'all be careful with it. It's not in the natural way. Um, messes up your uterus too. But um, they're doing it more and more and more. They're gonna see some problems because it just started maybe 20 years where everybody's getting scheduled. You're, getting a, you're gonna know when you have your baby. They give you a due date. They don't give you a surgery date. But now they do. You're gonna have your cesarean on March 13th. Now if you happen to have your baby before that, come on in. or, or water breaks or whatever they say, come on in. But March 13th is when we got your schedule. And that's just not the way it should be. Y'all help turn it back to being the natural because something's coming up there. Um, they say your uterus is not good, but I wonder what's the long-term effects of that. Because my baby done had one natural, two, two, Series. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do.
they do. So that's why they, they actually gave me the medicine. I was so amazed. They actually, because I was in labor, uh, full labor, like on the monitor where it says that, you know, your contractions, mm -hmm. they were up here, but my body wasn't ready. It wouldn't move. It was stuck. And they kept going in there, like, oh, this ain't, they ain't moving. It's because your body wasn't ready. I think I broke my water early, and it was not ready. But um, um, they kept pumping all that stuff, and it was killing me. And, and the, pumping, the pumping the stuff is even worse, because that's not natural either. They pump it up so you can get on open when your body should naturally open. But if you broke your water, if you, you know, possible infection and all that stuff, they're trying to get you going and getting on out of there. But um, that's not natural either, but they do it all the time. Um, you're supposed to walk up and down the road, walk around the building. They, they the that too, yes, they're doing that. Like they went to and I was All that good stuff. And mine was, um, I, you know, had the labor pains, but when I went to the hospital, I just, it was terrible. But for hours, at least, I think it was 12 or 24. Right now, I'm, just, I'm glad I forget it. That's why I have one child. <laughs> I ain't lying. You talking about pain like somebody's trying to take that leg and, and pull it way over here. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't budging. And, um, but... For relief, they was like, oh, we're going to have to give her a C-section because I guess the baby starts getting distressed, too, after so long. And, um, but I guess my, after they gave me the medicine that, that you get for a C-section, so I didn't feel nothing. Okay, okay. I was like, yes, hallelujah, because I was supposed to go in and serve her. They gave me a real upper door, not the ones that give you pregnancy people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That one is a different version. I got the whole, I didn't feel nothing. And I actually uh, went to sleep. I was like, and I was exhausted. And I think they were more worried for me. I'm not sure because at the time I wasn't medically inclined. So I don't know if it was me or the baby, both. But um, that, that was good. But my doctor walked in and said, oh, no, she's going to have that baby. And so he wasn't going to cut on he said she can have that baby, but um, and I'm talking about I'm good. I've been cussing them out. I know they were so glad. They was like, thank you, <laughs> putting her out. And um, they woke me up literally, woke me up. Hey, we almost waited too late. They ran me down the hall. I bought in. I think the way she was acting, like my stuff, it just it was gonna just let it fall out. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't feel nothing. And he said, push one time, that baby was uh, gone. And the way he caught, caught her, you know, they have all that stuff on them. And mm -hmm. she went up his arm like she could have just went that way, mm -hmm. like a, a real football. But that was my terrible. It, it was wonderful at the end. I didn't feel nothing. And then the nurse, she looked down there. Now the doctor said, oh, should, should I sew her up? And he was like on a question mark. And then the nurse looked down there. And she was like, oh, she'll be fine. Then the doctor looked at it again, and he sold me up. That nurse was going to let me just be all ragged in out there. <laughs> she was going to leave me like that. But he was like, let me, let me fix that. When they had the other girls, they had students in the room. They had my legs almost up yeah, by my head. They had students in the room, too. They had ripped because they had my legs too far apart, and I couldn't feel them. So he had to sew me back up because they, they had my legs almost up there. I'm just... Yeah, you don't care about them students at that time. Yeah, you done had your stuff looked at a thousand times by yeah, now. You really get know. over it. Like now, if I was Bird. going there and they tell me to go spread eagle, mm -hmm. I'm not fine to feel some kind of way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. one see? Yeah, and they learn. So they get, they can see everything. I've seen some of it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
I love, I love that, but I don't want to do that every day. <laughs> Labor and delivery is not a bad uh, nursing profession, though. Or CNA, CEMA in that department. Nice. Y'all would love it. Yeah. Pregnancy. The baby is considered full term, er, 37 weeks, and generally weighs between six to nine pounds, underline that, and 19 to 21 inches long. Anything below or above considered little, uh, small, and then uh, of course anything nine and above is low. And I lost my baby at thirty-eight weeks. Mm. My, I lost one at six. Yeah, and that's, that's no coffee. joke. And then they made the cow down. That's that's what they sent me home. They gave me some medicine. I went to my appointment, and they gave me some medicine, and and I didn't know. I'm telling y'all, it wasn't medically right. Mm-hmm. Then they gave me that medicine. You should, I almost bled to death. Yeah, at home. I went back home. I was going to the doctor in care, but they just sent me to the ER across the street. And then they said, you know, you can stay there. They didn't do none of that. They, they just told me to go home. It'll happen naturally. Yeah, and you know you're carrying a dead baby. But that's what they should have done to me. Because I almost bled to death because mm-hmm. they were saying it happened naturally. And then I hear all these people saying, uh, you know, I had a miscarriage at home. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm, I'm going to be that strong person at home. I almost bled to death. Because mm-hmm. it, it, it rips holes in your, mm-hmm. you know, all that's connected to you. And when it's not connected, you, you have holes where your arteries were going to that baby. Mm-hmm. And those holes bleed. And I, I saw, and I was crazy too. Whatever medicine they gave me, I was crazy. I, I saw it in the tub and bled a little bit. I saw it on the toilet and bled a little bit. I put the walk to the bathroom, to the kitchen. I put a towel between my legs. I'm bleeding this whole while. I, I almost killed myself. And finally, I asked my, my husband. I'm married. My friend, husband, same man, but I don't know if I was married yet, but um. Uh, asked him to give me some milk. I thought that was going to cure me. I needed some milk. And uh, he was like, and yeah, he called the ambulance. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I don't know. I think I was trying to have it at home. Because everybody, even my uh, mother had lost several, like three or four babies. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do it at home too. Don't do that. They should have done me like that. And sent me to the ER and, and Hasting it and let's let's get it on over. Mm-hmm. Cause I was weird anyway. You know you walk around and it's gonna happen naturally. Your body would naturally expel it. Like, oh. yeah, yeah, I didn't either. And then um, no, I wasn't married because with Misha, um, same thing happened. Water broke early, and I believe that's what happened. I didn't know that. I don't know that, but I believe that's what happened. And that's why my body wasn't ready for having a baby because it was still trying to make the baby. Mm-hmm. You know, the oven's not done. Yeah. <laughs> and then they try to speed you up when it's not ready. It hurts a whole lot worse. You get more pains that way than you would um, normally. But my sister, she gets pregnant. She's fine. She gets sick. Her first three months, sick as a dog. Not so but I didn't get sick. Mm-hmm. Um, but the first three months, she's sick as a dog. But her... From from water breaking, I mean, from she's like ten minute person. She's one of those. She will have a baby in a car if you don't get her there ASAP, because mm-hmm. it just comes out. It's wonderful. I said, oh, I hope I'm like that. Uh, and she's like, yes, it's pain, but it ain't even like that. You know, you start to feel the pain. Next thing you know, the baby's out. <laughs> That's not fair. I said, it does not follow in the family. I'll tell you that much. That has nothing to do. I don't care what your sister does. It ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I've heard a terrible horror story. I almost killed myself. <laughs> because you feel crazy anyway, then they, they gave me whatever that medicine was. They gave you some medicine to calm you down, relax you, put you where you don't care. Whatever that medicine is. And to this day, as a nurse, I don't know what it was. 
but they gave me something. Just take this, you'll be fine. That's what they told me. I was like, I think I saw it having a birthday reaction, but they didn't put the itch when they gave it to me. Oh, they might have that too. But they, they give you something and you'll be all right. And it just made me, it made me crazy. I don't need none of that. Whatever that is, please don't give it to me again. Um, I'm sorry about that. God. We always end up talking on, on this women chapter. Uh, pregnancy. 37 weeks. Baby should be 6 to 9 pounds, 19 to 21 inches long. Your first trimester is 1 to 12 weeks. Um, everything's forming at that time. You need to be very careful. Eat right. And a lot of people don't even know they're pregnant until they're, I don't know, five weeks or so because they've been off their period and they're waiting on their period and they don't get one. Um, but hopefully you, you haven't been eating terrible or using a thousand drugs so your baby will be okay. If not, you're starting that baby off wrong anyways. Um, a lot of people just be eating anyway because you get a little craving because it's your body saying, and you want vegetables, I noticed that. I didn't need a lot of vegetables, but I noticed before I found out I was pregnant, I wanted to eat vegetables. Me too. I'm green beans too. And I was in John Corps. And I, they let you eat and all you can eat vegetables. So whatever the vegetables of the day was, they had like four vegetables and that's all I wanted, a whole plate of vegetables. It's your, your body, you know, it's your, something tells you, let's eat better. And, uh, or more. It really depends on you, but that's how that works. Hey. Second trimester, 13 to 28 days. Third tri trimester, 29 to 40. All that's happening, uh, the 29 to 40. At the end, you are um, near the due date. The surface becomes softer and thinner, which helps the vagina to open during birth. And you need that, all that stuff needs to be working together. And a lot of times, say something happened too early, like water broke too early, or something happened, some kind of trauma. One part might be trying to get the baby out of there, the other part's not, but they gotta be working together so we can get the baby out. So that's why um, sometimes a C-section, that's when a C-section's in order. Um, but I just hate they doing so many C-sections. Male reproductive system. Of course, we got the penis. We use it for intercourse, and it has a root, also like a bone, they got the root and the shaft. And they also have the glands, which is the penis head. Um, we know uh, removal of the foreskin is called circumcision. And they also have a tube for travel, that is their urethra. That is their tube for semen to come out. Um, Orgasm, which is, um, I don't even know how to describe that. I'm thinking muscular type, um, rhythmic, that makes everything expel out, which makes us, they, if they need to shoot it out, this is the best way, or else it won't get to where it needs to go. So that's why all that happens, or else they just spew out. <laughs> But um, all that's on purpose. That's why they, they come out. Uh, scrotum, underline is a patch lot of sac that hangs below the penis. And what it contains. Testicles, nerves, blood vessels, all of that. Testicles, nerves, and blood vessels. That's your scrotum. And underline the temperature. Must have a temperature a little cooler than the body temperature. If they're too hot, that's why uh, when you're trying to have a baby, your, your, if your husband, boyfriend, whoever wears tidy whities he needs to get out of them. He needs to get some good old boxers, the hanging kind, and just let them hang. But, um, and that's for real. Because um, the more warmth, they don't um, mature as well. Testes, oval-shaped organs located inside the scrotum. Responsible for making the primary male sex hormone testosterone. Test T's makes testosterone.
Uh, internal organs. You got the epididymis, which is cold, like tube, um, matures the sperm. That's where they mature. The vas deferens, just know these. Seminal vesicles, just know. Prostate gland um, contributes additional fluid to the ejaculate. And the bobo urethral glands, also known as calpers, it actually has um, stuff in there that actually neutralizes um, acid that may be in their urethra, so their sperm won't die going through the urethra. Um, also, look at semovescals. We passed that, but it also um, it produces fructose to provide sperm with energy. They actually have some fructose going on in there, so the sperm can go do what it's supposed to be. Transmitted diseases, you got your bacteria vaginosis, and that can just happen to anybody. It's a normal balance or imbalance of bacteria. So underline that. And I'll, I'll let you know. Um, symptoms include uh, vaginal discharge, and uh, it's normally a bacteria, so what we're gonna give them? Antibiotics. Chlamydia. They got um, a, caused by a bacteria called Chlamydia trachomatis. It is a bacteria as well. Oral, vaginal, or anal sex. All kind of stuff going on. Vaginal discharge, abdominal pain, all kind of stuff. Um, any kind of bacteria you walk into an STD clinic, they're just going to almost automatically give you some kind of bacteria. But um, that chlamydia will, can mess you up. It can mess your fertility up. So even though it's easy to treat, they just throw you some antibiotics. They don't really know if it's vaginosis, chlamydia, gonorrhea. Um, sometimes they just give you some bacteria and send you about the way. I mean, um, <clears throat> antibiotics, but meanwhile, it could have damaged your um, body for uh, having babies. So you gotta watch that too. Watch your children. Tell your children all about it. Cause it's, it, it happens and you don't want too many infections. It, it does mess with that in youngies, for real. And I say young people, all the way up to 50. I mean, 100, but fertility, it messes with that. Um, gonorrhea. Caused by the bacteria Nasseria gonorrhea. So underline that. They ain't gonna ask you what is the bacteria that causes gonorrhea. Nasseria gonorrhea. What are we gonna give them if it's a bacteria? Antibiotics. Antibiotics. And all that, uh, a lot of times burning, swelling while you're uh, urinating, um, discharge from the penis, swollen testicles for the men. But they can, some, uh, most of these they can just look at under a microscope and say, oh, bacteria, throw them an antibiotic, and, and they send you out your, on your way. Hepatitis A, B, and C. We need to know the route. That's what's important here. Hepatitis A, also your incubation period is 28 days. In other words, you can have it for 28 days. It's growing for 28 days. Um, transmitted by the fecal oil route. And um, somebody had to wash their hands after they used the bathroom. Children all in, you know, you got the, um, maybe not children, but how children be in their clothes and then they do stuff. Same way um, they get stuff transmitted. Grown folks too. Um, gonna give them some medications for that. Uh, hepatitis B, uh, incubation period between six weeks and six months. It's a little harder to diagnose who you got it from because it takes so long to show up. Transmitted through unprotected sex. No real medications, but we do have a um, vaccine for it. So let's take some vaccine so we can prevent Hep B. And, and, and most health care facilities, they'll ask you to take a Hep B shot. Hepatitis C. Um, incubation period is one to six months. Transmitted by blood, a blood product. How is it transmitted? Blood, blood products. And 
we give antiviral medications because these are viruses, not the same as a bacteria. Bacteria, they can say, okay, you got a bacteria, here you go. They might not even really go do the test yet. May save themselves $30 for that test because they know you got a bacteria, here you go. Take some medicine. Um, just know that that's, that's what's happening. Herpes. No, it's incubation period, which is six to eight days. You'll have some type of, of sore around your genital area, um, genital discharge. Most of the time, it's a lot of sores, like blisters, like 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 your fever blister. If anybody has fever blister, I've had one since a child. It's the same as you call this herpes one. This, this is herpes 2. And you'll know the difference if 2 is up here because it'll be a lot of them. It won't be that one. You know how people have just one that comes up? A child has one. They probably done drunk behind a grown person that has one. Um, when you really, this, when this goes up, it um, messes with their whole mouth. You see people with just their mouth messed up? That's probably herpes. Or well, they done got whatever needs to stay down there up here. But um, I've seen a young lady, and she was, I don't know, maybe 18, 19 years old, and got a hold of somebody. And her whole stuff was messed up. Just messed up. Messed up bad. And, um, the, and the dude was still messing with her. It was on Facebook and everything. The, the dude took pictures of her, and he showed it on Facebook. It was terrible. He this is what my friend's ch children. But he wanted to to him. They say that. He says, no, it wasn't. But if you're going to be having sex with somebody with that, I I would hope that you was the one who gave it to her. Because I would. I'd look at that, and you should have seen it look like a big sore. Your stuff, but it was just sores everywhere. It was terrible. But it's everywhere. It's everywhere nowadays, and they're trying to prevent that. Um, herpes is probably the worst, worst thing you can get. That everybody's getting it, along with um, what's the other one? The warts. You won't even know you have them because they'll be inside or. Um, but but those can lead to um, cancer very easily. So when you got in college, go in there. Hopefully, they're looking for any sign of that as well. But that's what a lot of, a lot of your cancer and your cervix cancers and Is that what things like that. Yeah. yeah. So they're trying to prevent that now. So um, if you've never been exposed, and, and most people grown as we are, and I say we, how old are you? How old are you? Twenty-two. How old are you? Twenty-two. Have you got your HPV? You better get it or you won't get it or you won't be able to get it because they said most people have been exposed by age i don't know and it's it, you're close mm -hmm. and that's what happens that you've been exposed um that does not mean it's just like in your body just kind of like uh you might have been exposed to tv you didn't get it but you've been exposed that's why they don't give it they don't give it to growner people because they think it might um make it happen so go check that out. So that's one disease you can, won't have to worry about. And, and people get it, don't know it. It's like a, a little bump or a little something that they don't, can't even tell it's there. So even the guys don't even realize that they, they, they have it. It may look like a mole, um, but it's very, very kitschy. And, and that's, what, that's what the HPV is. That's one disease you can have that you, I'm not gonna say won't get cervical cancer or you know, cancer, but um, it's when you won't have to. I if you get your vaccine. See? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm and how old are you? I'm 31. And how old were you when they wouldn't let you get it? Cause I was mad. I went up in there. I want mine, just in case. <laughs> And um, they was like, no, you probably been not exposed, and, and they don't want to give it to you, cause they assume that you know, with the amount that's out there, that you probably been exposed. That I'm literally telling the truth. 
I'm just married, husband, wife. The older you are, the way it carries, you've been probably exposed. Not that you got it, but well, it's, got it's a, anybody in your system. You got two of them, but they didn't give you the other one? Wait, well, that's too late then to say you're too old. Mm-hmm. That's when you already got two of them. Well, that ain't fair. So how many? How many? Three. No, it's a three. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and get yours before you get too old. That's one thing, and that's for real. And people be like, oh, I'm not going to catch nothing like that. I'll see that. You're not going to see but the warts that they're talking about. They're just, people just carry them and don't have a wart. Uh-huh. It's just they have that virus. And you got to worry about that because that it just just like uh, as as young and I I get a wart on your hand or your finger. I I've had one. You, you swear a frog and I had played with frogs. You swear a frog peed on me. That's what I thought they That's what I think all children play with frogs and get a they they come up with a wart. You know and uh, <laughs> has she ever got a wart? We scale frogs. Oh, okay. It may or may not be. They they said it's out there. But anyway, this is awful one. Y'all y'all have to keep listening to this. Y'all gonna y'all not gonna like it. <laughs> but um, yeah, go get go get it, go get it. Cause that's one thing that um people die from, have to take their whole body parts out from. So get that shot if you can. Um, but herpes uh, incubation period that means it's growing between six to eight days. That means it's um, mature in that amount of time too. So you're gonna find out if you get some blisters in the wrong places, those are those herpes and that's probably somebody you just was with. And I always do and mess with my children, my high school children, when I do that. I've had that teach twice, they ask me. And um, I always mess with them like that. And grown folks, oh I use protection, I use protection. And next thing you say, I think I'm pregnant. I think I might be pregnant. You didn't use protection. That should be the last thing on your mind. <laughs> so you are out there. You're susceptible. You're, you know, come tell me that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna know that you're not being safe. It's just it. Um, they know if and or but about it. You know you did that. You know, so watch, watch out. I don't even know where I was going. Oh, my children. And I grow some out, tell them how, how long sperm lives, and then it's dead in your stuff, and it makes your stuff smell. And then you got to, for two to three days, you're just draining old sperm. And they're like, ew. I'm like, that's what I want. So maybe these young ladies will put on some protection <laughs> so they won't be licking old sperm. Because <laughs> then they think it's the grossest thing ever. Ew, it's natural, and that's what happens. But but uh, children don't like to hear that. Grown folks don't like to hear that either. Men definitely don't want to hear it, especially if they're doing anything extra. Uh, three days. <laughs> um, sorry. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. We're gonna diagnose it um, through the ELISA test, underlying ELISA. And then they confirm it with the Western blot test. So Alista diagnoses it and then confirm with the Western blot. I think Western blot might cost a little more. So they do that one after. There's no cure, but we do give antiviral medications, which are wonderful nowadays. People are living forever just as long as we are. Um, just uh, they have to take their meds. Human papillomavirus, which is also a sexually transmitted disease or infection caused by the genital contact. Well, there you go. That's the genital warts. Herpes. Yeah, you said it right. Warts. Yes, that's the HPV right there. Um, there are really no tests in men. Uh, women can have pap smears. And, and a lot of times you won't see anything. Just like you don't see the cancer. You don't feel the cancer growing. Um, you won't see that either. So just, just know that it could be possible. Um... Pelvic inflammatory disease, a lot of times this is just um, sometimes people have not got their stuff treated and um, they had some type of infection. Sometimes chlamydia gonorrhea, they just, they just had, they just didn't get it treated. 
um, and it just stays there with them and they get pelvic, pelvic inflammatory disease. A lot of people tend to, if you have an infection and then you're using tampons on top of that, you're going to probably get pelvic inflammatory disease. Um, and that's how it comes about. And, or it could just come about because you're stopping up with tampons. But a lot of times it's associated, a lot of times it's associated with tampons and bacteria. So if you got something going on, you don't need to be using tampons. You need to be letting that stuff trying to get out of there. So, um, syphilis, know what bacteria causes it. Bacteria trypanema pallidium. Um, commonly transmitted through sexual activity. Know the stages. In the beginning, it's a small sore where the bacteria enter the body. Then you have where a rash develops over the body. And a lot of times people just think that's a rash, that's, oh, I got allergic to something, or I got into something. And then that latent stage, nothing. You don't even know it. After, after that, you get older, the syphilis gets it bothers your brain, your brain cells, and all the above. Then you got trichomonas. Oh, let me get back to syphilis. Underline Wasserman test. An antibody test called the Wasserman test can also determine syphilis. So what determines syphilis? What's the name of it? The Wasserman, Wasserman test. What is the ELISA test? Western blot. What test that used for? HIV. Trichomonas. Symptoms more commonly affect women. Um, it's caused by a parasite called the trichomonas vaginalis. And a lot of people, they, they get that. Um, now that one smells. And gonorrhea, chlamydia do too, but you know, people confuse that as, as you know, just, I don't know what they confuse it with. But uh, they'll they'll say that they didn't they was thinking that was normal or they had sex and they thought that was normal coming behind it. That's not normal. But anyway, uh, but trichomonas really smells. Uh, symptoms include odorous vaginal discharge, discomfort during sex and urination. It actually swells up your insides and hurts. When when you regular would enjoy sex, it's like really something sticking you. That's the um, definition. I mean, I, it's like it swells you up, and then they're trying to get some, and it hurts instead of. I know my feels. Sorry, <laughs> but um, give them medications as well, because it is a um, parasite that will give you certain medication. Know these definitions for infertility. Just underline that first part: biological inability to contribute to reproduction. And then impotence is a sexual dysfunction characterized by inability to maintain an erection of the penis. Just know those two. They don't dig real deep in, in, in that chapter, but those are our facts that we need to do. And I'll give y'all a little review online because I don't have the test. Actually, I do. It's in the closet. <laughs>